Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Blender video. Today I'm going to be speaking about something that uh, tends to happen when we are doing liquid simulations. And uh, that is that sometimes when you are creating your simulation, there is a gap between your liquid simulation par or particles and your liquid domain. So uh, let's have a look at that. Uh, so I'm working in Blender 3.1.2 uh, for this video. So uh, please let me know if it does work for you, if you're using 2.8 or 2.9. Um, if not, then let's see if we can find another solution. Uh, so just remember to put a comment down below. So let's uh, create our situation over here. So we're going to use uh, quick effects. I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to go straight into object, quick effects and quick liquid. Now, if you leave it as it is and you press play, you'll immediately see that there is a sizable gap between your particles and your domain. It's pretty big. So the solution for this is really simple. And it was so funny because at first I thought that there was something wrong with my simulation. But out of habit, if I've created a new simulation, I would click on my domain before I even press play, I would go to my physics and I'd bump up the resolution division. But the other day I didn't do that. And suddenly the gap appeared and it really annoyed me because I thought I was doing something wrong or I thought it was a bug or something, but it isn't. It's, it's got to do with your settings and it is your resolution division setting. So this cube over here kind of represents the size of the gap that you're going to have between your particles or your liquid mesh and your domain. It also determines the gap between your particles or mesh and an object that your liquid might be uh, interacting with. So I'm going to place another cube over here just for our liquid to interact with. Uh, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and then kind of like move it off to the side here. And I'm just going to make this an effector. Uh, so let's click on our domain. And then I just want to re kind of like reset uh, uh, the settings over here. So I'm just going to say resumable modular, but then I'm going to go back into replay just for to speed things up. So if I press play, we'll have an interaction. So if I take it a bit back over here, you will see that there is also a bit of a gap when it starts to interact with our simulation there. So here you can see there is a considerable gap. So if we go back, we scroll to the top and we go to our resolution division. Let's bump that up to 64. So twice the amount of particles. And if we step for step, put it down, we can see that that gap has started to shrink. There is still a little bit of a gap, um, but it is still there. And if you pop it up to, let's say, uh, 100, that gap should almost be gone. So let's just play, play, play. Oh, let's see what's happening here. Oh, there you go. So we go step for step and there is a cost to this solution. And that is that it uses a lot more memory. All right, so there you go. But as you can see, that interaction is pretty much perfect. There is no more gap between your particles and your object. And the higher you put this value, the smaller the gap becomes between your particles and your domain. So if we continue to let the simulation run, you'll see that there is still a bit of a gap, but that the gap is very small. So from about 100 frames, already from 60, uh, well, not 100 frames, uh, a resolution division value of from 64 already starts minimizing that gap. But you get a better result from about uh, 100. And if you bump it up to 150, it's even smaller. So as your, 
I can't think of the word, the number. <laughs> As the number gets higher for your resolution division, that gap becomes smaller. And you can see, like, uh, if we do this, barely a gap. So if you really want zero gap, you can actually um, make uh, an effector, so make a container, and there'll be zero gap. So I hope this video helps. Uh, it's just a quick solution to a common problem. Let me know if it helps. And uh, yeah, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below. So I hope this helps everyone. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.